Let me tell you something I wish somebody had told me on my first day. Being a spy is nothing like you see on TV. Showdowns in exotic locales, death-defying car chases, seemingly limitless food and beverage per diems. Uh-uh. Those days are over. What we deal with is the collection and manipulation of information plain and simple. And thanks to the wonders of telephone communication, we don't even have to leave our desks anymore. Is it fun? Not really. Does it pay well? Well, that depends on how long you've been here. But listen, if you keep your head down and do what's asked of you, 50, 20 years down the line, you could have a nice looking corner office just like this one. Heated underground parking too. <laughs> Not too shabby, is it? That sounds amazing. Doesn't it? You're gonna have to be patient about the office though. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. What's your name again? Kovacs. Numi Kovacs. Cute. But try to knock that fantasy nonsense out of your head. We're doing serious work here. Since it's your first day, let's see what they taught you in the academy. The woman we're about to call is Lacey Mendoza. She's a production manager at our latest competitor, Rev Inc. Our top engineer, a fellow by the name of Sebastian Cartwright, was working on a top secret project when he was abducted along with his plans. We're beginning to think that Cartwright might be involved in whatever they're doing over there at Rev, and possibly against his will. There's three things I'm gonna need you to find out. One, where this test facility is located. Two, what's the easiest point of entry. And three, whether or not they have Sebastian. I pulled all the information I could on Lacey and compiled it in this scrapbook. It's not much, but it might help you gild the lily. Any questions? How do I use the scrapbook? It's a scrapbook. You turn the pages with your hands and look through it with your eyes. Then your eyes take what they see to your brain and your brain uses that to come up with ideas. Though maybe not in your case. What's Rev Inc? No idea. There's nothing on the books to prove it exists. My guess is that it's just a front for one of the big boys. Tell me more about Sebastian. Brilliant engineer. Bit of an eccentric. Has a Jones for clean energy. Whatever that is. Any advice? Get her to trust you. Pretend to be someone from her past. Someone she cares for, but hasn't kept in touch with. Uh, old classmate, former co-worker, that sort of thing. Whatever you do, don't pretend to be a loan manager. You won't make it past hello. Enough talk. Let's call her up. This is an important mission, so make it count. Bliss and blessings onto you and yours. This is Lacey. Who's speaking? This is Sheila Arbogast from the London branch. Uh, the London branch of what? The, uh, thing you do. Your company. Um, first of all, we're not a company. We're a community. And secondly, we don't have a London branch, but we will. Don't talk specifics unless you know them to be true. Let's give it another try. Bliss and blessings onto you and yours. This is Lacey. Who's speaking? This is Lindsay Fellows from Falcon Crest Fiduciary. We're calling about your student loan repayment. 
Will you people ever give up? I'll pay you back when I'm good and ready. Until then, leave me alone. If you want to get information from a mark, it's usually best if you pretend to be someone they want to speak to. How about you do a different voice and try it again? Bliss and blessings unto you and yours. This is Lacey. Who's speaking? Only the best roommate you've ever had. Clara? You sound really different. Well, it has been over a decade. It's been less than five years, Clara. How could you not remember that? Only five years? Wow, uh, time sure grinds to a halt when you're not around. You're not with Docilio, are you? Who's Docilio? Never mind. We've just had a lot of outside interference lately, and we need to be extra careful about who we speak to. So if you really are Clara, I'm going to need some proof. Why don't we start with you telling me the address of our old apartment? Four seven three Lansing Crescent. No, that was the address for the house I grew up in. The only roommates I had back then were my mother and sister. How could you possibly know that? I remember everything. You must have told me at some point. Well, if you remember everything, then you should remember the address that we lived at for four years together. What was it? Three seventy six University Ave. Actually, that was the address for my college dormitory. I know what's going on here. You're a docilite, aren't you? I don't even know what that is. Nice try. But once our work is complete, we'll tear away your vile masks and free the world of your meddling once and for all. Beware the wrath of Rev. Beware. So, it looks like you've unleashed the crazy. <laughs> Not exactly what I was hoping for, but amusing nonetheless. Why don't you take a coffee break and then get started on some light clerical work? I think that's more your speed. Not much competition in this employee of the month game, is there? Not as long as I'm around. Nice haircut. Better times. Have you ever thought about growing it back? Every single day.
Looks like I'll need a key card to get this thing to work. Sure are a lot of people in there. About 50 at least. Roaming the halls already, are we? Turns out I could have a break. Well, now I have to commit three of my best agents to undoing the damage you've done with that phone call. I tried my best. Oh, I'm sure you did. But to keep this office running as smoothly as possible, perhaps you'll consider making this break a permanent one. You want me to quit? Quit, step down, early retirement without benefits. Why get hung up on titles? All that matters is that you're happy. Why don't you think about it and get back to me? Who are you? Thornton Penderbrook, Office Manager, Division of Outside Intelligence, heir apparent to Penderbrook Motors, international traveler, raconteur, and bon vivant. Oh, well, my name's Numi. Mm. I'd like to do a field mission. A field mission? Ho 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 ho! That's right! Most of our work is handled over the phone these days. We only have one agent in the field. There's no need for any more. Is there any situation where I could work in the field? For that to happen, every single agent in this office would have to become indisposed. So it is possible, then. If that kind of wild optimism is what you need to continue your interminable existence, far be it from me to tell you otherwise. Can I have the code for the outbound research division? The bullpen for the telephone division falls under Mr. Turner's domain, and he prefers to... Um, Keep that to himself. My only dealings with him is through the company mail system. Turn doesn't trust you. It's my understanding that Mr. Turner lost his government position due to information about him being leaked. Ever since then, he's been very <laughs> particular about office protocols. I should get back to work. Before you do, let me ask you a question. Have you ever taken the time to stroll the docile woods? Are... are you asking me out on a date? Ha! <laughs> you, you think I'd ask a lowly assistant out on a date? Perish the thought! If you're that intent on taking a shortcut up the corporate ladder, you might find more success reaching for one of the lower rungs. I think Agent Horace might be available. You're disgusting. Off you go. That font's pretty hard to read. <laughs> it's not a font, it's a foreign film from Japan. Well, yeah, I knew that. The Japanese language also has fonts, and uh, this one's pretty hard to read. Good movie? Utterly breathtaking. It's almost 20 years old and still ahead of its time. I'd love to see it. Well, it's very hard to get a hold of. Have to be in the right circles, which you're obviously not. Locked. Looks like it needs a passcode. Out of order. Guess I'll have to hold it. Hmm, let's see. One, two, three, four. That desk's a little tall, isn't it? It's meant for standing. Why would anyone want to stand when they could sit? 
You'll understand when you're older.